So our next port of call is Perth, race 18, it's the Highland National. So three miles and seven furlongs, and num number one is Not Now Never for James Shea, the 2-1 to one favourite. Two is Rezwan Calling for Pontypool Racing, three Bolshoi playing for David Robertson, four Lady Saint for Martin Needham, five Slip Anchor for Paul O'Neill, six Dale Day for Craig Beckwith, seven Swift Breeze for myself, eight Argus Sarkat for David Robertson, nine Balance Juna for Kevin Meanham along with Zinc, number ten, Thistledown Please for Daniel French is eleven, Cono for Paul Fisk is twelve, Liam for Fox for Pontypool is thirteen, Bogus Penny for Martin Needham is fourteen, Fifi for Paul Rhodes is fifteen, Grand Article and Southern Spectrum are 16 and 17 for Alex Cherry. And number 18 is Yavari feature for Darren Thompson. The star has dropped the flag. They're racing. Here at Perth, the rain's starting to come down. The clouds are in the sky. As we know in Scotland, it's all four seasons in every day. As we finally wait for it to settle down. And we're getting a bit strung out here as Stale Dan Slip Anchor of the shot off into the lead. We've got a five or six length advantage away from the chasing pack and then we've probably got another 15 to 20 lengths right back to the rear of Kono. Paul Fisk. As they take the first, they're all comfortably over that. And run down to the second is still slip anchor and stay all day. From the two grey zinc and lady sank and towards the fence at Rez Rezwan calling. Yavari features there. Up against the fence is Bogus Penny in the purple. Out wide is Argus Sarkat, the other great. Paul Rhodes is Fifi as they get over this big ditch. And we'll take it well, including the back markers, Kono and Swift Breeze. Sort of mid pack now is Not Now Never, our favourite. Green Silk's Red Cap on the outside of that is Kevin Meanhan's Balance Junior and Southern Spectrum on the inside for Alex Cherry. And three or four lengths back to the Anthel Fox, Bolshoi Blink and Grand Article. This will down, please, with those. And then a couple of links back to just the rear of Swift Breeze and Kono. As we come down to the next, it's Slip Anchor and Stay All Day. Pushing out of the pack to take third on his own is Zinc. Yeah, great. Up against the fence is Giovanni feature for Darren Thompson as we get to the fourth. And then Zinc went straight through the top of that. And shuffles back a little bit. So already losing sight of the Up. Through, uh, first coming through the first mile now, and still slip anchor and stay all day. And the already feature, maybe sink and sink as it gets another big ditch to the fifth. And we'll get over that, and we're still on their feet. And then hurry along at the back is Swift Breeze, and Kona just in the rear. So it's still slip anchor and stay all day. No front runners for Leon Creek Beckwith. We go over the six together. Safely over it. Now about three lengths away from the Avari featuring third now towards the fence out a little bit wider with zinc. And seventh, and followed through by a further two greys of Argus Sarkat and Bogus, sorry, not Bogus Penny, is Fifi. I one wrong. I think so. Bogus Penny's not a great. Sargas Sarkat and a lady sink of the two greys to go to the water. Bogus Penny took that slowly. He's outside his reservoir and calling. Fifi's moved up now. So, uh, playing four or five horses wide as they swing right handed here. And a length or so back to Not Now Never. Moving alongside Southern Spectrum. And Grand Article Balance Dune and Bolshoi Bling. And the length back to Thistledown, please, in the Enthorpe Fox as they go to the ninth poor jump there by Stay All Day. Gives up. Uh, First place to slip anchor on his own. So slip anchor from Yavari features zinc and stay all day. Couple back to the Greys, Lady Sink and Argus Sarkat. There's one going in between horses, but this penny just sitting behind against the fence. Fifi just on the outside. Not now, never. My favourite in the last week of round to chase. So uh, on the Pardon me Cup back on week one. Oh, we've lost one there. It's Swift Breeze that's gone. The first one down is mine. So most frustrating. My two horses have not managed to win a race in the six weeks they've been in there. Never mind. It's a tough old uh, league this year. But up front, it's now a line of four. Stay all day, slip, slip anchor, zinc, and Yavari feature. And Lady Senk and Argus Sarkat. There's one calling, bogus penny and Fifi. 
jumping down to the next. Halfway through the fences. We're at Perth. We're over the 12th. We'll take that. The only one we've lost is Swiss, Swift Breeze. Swiftly to the floor. Start crump, stale day, slip anchor, zinc. Yavari feature, baby sink. There's one calling Argus, Sarkat. Fifi and bogus penny. Let me uh, get to this ditch. We'll run over that as well. My undulating course here as we go up hill a little bit in Perth and then back down the other side. We've still got a mile and a half to travel and it's zinc and stay all day. From slip anchor and Yavari feature. And the grey lady sink. There's one calling on the inside as it goes to the 14th. We negotiated that one as well. The one we can just see at the rear now is uh, Fistbound, please. We can't see the end full Fox or Kono. We go to the 15th. The leaders are over it. And Zinc just noses a length in front now from Slip Anchor and Stay All Day. And the Avari feature. You're running well with Lady Sink. There's one calling, so having a good ride, Fifi. Argus Sac Sacrat up against the fence. Bogus Penny. A little bit wider is Grand Articles. You go to the water, which is the 16th, and past the winning post. Another full circuit to go. Just under a mile and a quarter. It's zinc and slip anchor and stay all day. My right, couple back to Yavari features, taking us a bit of a breather now. Drops back a couple of lengths. Where's one corner moves up into fifth. Nargus Sarkat against the fence. Southern Spectrum. Fifi and Bogus Penny have dropped back a little bit as well as Lady Senk. They go to the 17th, which is seven from home. Another six to jump. And a mile to travel. Slip Anchor just been pushed along a little bit other than the lead to maintain it from Zinc on his outside, just behind the stay all day. And a couple back to Yavari feature. Pretty much been your one, two, three, four. As we're inside the final mile. We come down to the next, and it's still Slip Anchor being driven along by his jockey now. Maintains the lead, gets over the big ditch in the 18th. He'll take it well for jump by Bolshoi Blink, I think. Oh, that may well have been Bogus Penny. Slips back towards the rear of the pack with six furlongs to go. So it's Slip Anchor that slips the lead now by a length and a half. And Zinku didn't take that one particularly well. Stay all day, starts to drift back. Here comes Southern Spectrum on the outside. Res one calling Yavari feature. And Argus Sakarat has moved off the fence and a little bit wider now. But it's Slip Anchor, the one they've all got to catch. We're inside the five now. Slip Anchor being chased down by Southern Spectrum. Zink doesn't seem to have a lot left. Res one calling coming out of the pack. Yavari feature's got a bit to do. Argus Sakarat has got more inside of that is stay all day but the leaders are over it so it's slip anchor and southern spectrum leads to a neck and neck as we come inside the final half mile and it's southern spectrum slip anchor they're about four or five away from zinc and res one calling still running on argus sarkart the inside of that is yavari feature and stay all day i don't think anything else is going to get into this though running out of the pack is this or down please as they go over the 21st three from home and it's slip anchor that gets away from it better and slips away from southern spectrum running on now better is zinc we have of that is Rezwan calling Argus sarkrat has got a little bit left but Slip Anchor's the one they've got to catch as they come inside the final quarter mile so it's Slip Anchor just two to jump gets over the penultimate poor jump there by Zinc so Slip Anchor still leads by about three from Rezwan calling Argus Sarkat's the only one that's going to probably chase him down as we come down to the final thing and he goes straight through the, the last Slip Anchor loses his advantage here comes Argus Sarkar on the outside so it's Slip Anchor Argus Sarkar running on again is Zinc but Slip Anchor inside the final half a furlong from Argus Sarkat. Is he going to hang on to this slip anchor? He needs the post, but Argus Sarkat on the outside is just nosing up. It's slip anchor, Argus Sarkat. They both go over together. I wouldn't like to draw a line between those two. Oh, I'll wait and see the replay. If there's a definite winner, or are we going to have Highland National dead heat? No, I think slip anchor just hang on to it there from Argus Sarkat. Zinc running well for third, Res 1 calling was fourth. We'll just make sure that there's nothing untoward. Wait for the final race guard. So Paul O'Neill, I think, has taken the Highland National. He has by a head with Slip Anchor. David Robertson's Argus Sarkart was second. Zinc for Kevin Meenham was third. Res 1 calling for Pontypool Racing was fourth. And fifth was Southern Spectrum for Alex Cherry.